All right, welcome back to chapter two, lesson four. Today we're going to be solving two-step and multi-step inequalities. So our objective for today is to solve inequalities that contain more than one operation. So when solving two-step um, and multi-step uh, inequalities, the thing that we need to take into consideration is that in inequalities that contain more than one operation we require more than one step to solve. Use inverse operations to undo the operations in the inequality one at a time. So basically what this means is we're, when we start dealing with those multi-step inequalities, you're just gonna treat them exactly like you did when you were solving equations back in chapter one. But remember, the only thing you have to remember, the only difference with this chapter is that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to flip that sign. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a few different problems. So looking at this first example, um, we're gonna solve the inequality and graph the solution. So we're trying to get B by itself. So just like a two-step equation here, we would do the inverse operation of that positive 45. That would leave us with 2B is greater than, I have to borrow there, six, that's a five, one. Okay, we're going to get B by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 2, leading, leaving us with six to 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So there's our answer. Then we have to graph it. So is it going to be an open or a closed circle? Yes, it's going to be an open circle. And is it going to go to the right or the left? You're right. It's going to go to the right because B is greater than 8. Perfect. Let's go ahead and look at the next example here. So we have eight minus three y is greater than or equal to 29. So the first thing, we're just gonna solve this like an equation, right? We're gonna get rid of this eight by doing the inverse operation of a positive eight, which would be a negative eight to both sides of the inequality. 28 minus eight would be 21. Then we wanna get y by itself, so we're gonna divide by a negative three to both sides. Wait, hold up. Did we just divide by a negative number to both sides? Well, remember, we have to flip that sign. So let's flip it, and we're going to flip it real good. Dun, do, 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 do. Never mind. Okay. Um, 21 divided by negative 3 is negative 7, and then we're going to graph it. So y, we find negative 7, which is between negative 6 and negative 8. Um, is it a closed circle or open circle? It's a closed circle and y is less than, so does it go right or does it go left? You're correct if you said it went left. Great job. All right, let's look at another example. Okay, so, oh, this is a check it out. All right, cool. Well, where is my friend? Pause, Dragon, there you are. Okay, go ahead and solve this inequality. Um, remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to flip that sign. And yeah, solve it, then graph it, and do that for 1a and 1b. Okay? All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're back. Let's see how you did. So if you're trying to get x by itself, you would have first subtracted 6 to both sides. That would give us negative 12 minus 6 is 18. Then we would um, divide both sides by a three, just doing the inverse operation of multiplication, leaving us with, okay, then we want to switch. Um, the x needs to be on the left, and the alligator's eating the negative six, so it needs to continue to do that. Then we're just gonna graph it, right? It's gonna be a closed circle and less than. So yeah, there we go. Let's see how you did. If you got that right, awesome, great job. If not, change your notes so they look like mine. All right, here we go. Check it out, example 1B. Let's see how you did. So we have to get x by itself. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is get rid of that negative two that everything's being divided by. And we can do that by multiplying both sides by a negative number. Wait, hold up. Did we just multiply both sides by a negative number? Yes, that means we need to flip that sign and flip it real good. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Um, 
do 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 flip it real good okay um so here we go back to the problem okay now we got rid of that negative two we flipped the sign great now we just need to subtract both sides by a negative number and we're not multiplying or dividing here right so everything just stays the same and we're left with negative 11 x is less than negative 11 so we just need to graph that we need to find negative 11 so negative 11, it would be half, it would be, so this is eight and 12, so I'm gonna cut that in half, which would make that negative 10, and half of negative 10 and negative 12 would give us negative 11. Um, it's gonna be an open circle, and x is less than, so it's gonna be all the numbers this way. Perfect, okay. Let's go ahead and I want you to do this last check it out problem 1C. So solve the inequality and then graph your solutions down there. Here's my friend the pause dragon reminding that you need to pause your device, work the problem out. When you get done, press play and we'll go over it together. All right, let's see how you did. So for this problem, we have to get in by itself. So the first thing we would do would be get rid of this divided by three. So we're gonna multiply both sides of the equation by three. That ends up canceling out. We get seven times three, which is 21. Now we wanna get n by itself. So we're gonna subtract both sides by a negative one. That leaves us with 20. And then we need to get n by itself. So we're gonna divide by that negative two. Wait, hold up, did we just divide by a negative number? Yes, we did. We need to remember to flip that sign and flip it real good. Flip it real good. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so there's our answer right there once you simplify. And then we just need to graph it. So negative 10 would be halfway between negative eight and negative 12. So that's gonna be a closed circle and everything is less than negative 10, so it would be this way. So if you got that right, awesome job and we'll see you in a little bit back with example two.